what's going on fellas and welcome back to the day trading series back on tuesday sorry no video yesterday but i uh, showed up on the screen there small loss kept it manageable but uh the trades weren't even interesting enough to make a short out of it but regardless we are back today hoping to get a win let's go and we are open it's either we moon or we bust off of here so but i'm really fascinated in taking paypal calls here In there at 125. Didn't expect to get filled there. I want to see PayPal bust through that top. Here we go. Literally taking a scalp in the first opening minute here. Try and join one in the ask. Getting one out there. I'm going to get our break even there. Cool. So 10 bucks there. Just wanted to capture that surge through a giant level on PayPal. Jesus Christ, bro. I was about to take Amazon there for the flag. In there, finally. Just trying to get a move on here. Big contract, but I'm liking the flag break here on Amazon. Anticipating this 2184, it looks like. 2200's right here. Want to flush under that? Here we go. It's more like it. Amazon likes to diddle. Want to confirm below 22. Getting out there. Taking too long. Bro, these moves are wild. NVIDIA looks ripe. I'm getting ready here to take uh, NVIDIA. Big size, though. Not in a particular place I'd like, either. I mean, who knows? This could be buying, because, I mean, being being at, like, 320, 325, it's kind of like an obscure level. Oh, now it's stopped? Okay, this this could actually be the change. There's no more size there anymore. I'm going to take a stab here. Could be ballsy, but I like that we're over this size already. So we could be getting the drop here. I am fearful this 5 minute 200, but I do believe that we can get the momentum down enough to just surge through that level. Okay, so we're well above this shelf, which I really like. We just want to see more downside. 173 whole dollar through it. All right, here we go. Need to get that downside more on the markets. We're getting it now. Square out or below, that's yikes. Brilliant candle right now. So this is next step. This is pre-market low right here. We want to get through pre-market low. And then fill that gap at previous closures at 169. What a candle. Holy sh... Alright, alright. Premium should be juicing right now. Premium should be juicing right now. Some size starting to come in. I'm going to honestly take it off. Once we hit that level out there. What a read on that, guys. Oh my god. Boom! Clawed back from yesterday with a nice $73. Love it. Alright, let's go over it. First one, PayPal. That is right. So, uh, good on my part to take the scalp. Because I knew we had to hit this level intraday. As soon as I saw this go from red to green, I'm like, I'm willing to take it for a pop through this 8205 level. This line is literally the lows from the uh, the big C. That's why I was so confident in like a little bounce off of that because we we're opening right under it. But the one thing I was weary about was because it was a breakdown and retest, right? And as you can see, it played out perfectly. But I was on the opposite end of that, but was also smart enough to only take it for a scalp. So we got like 10 bucks off of that on the surge through this level. I didn't like that we weren't getting immediate follow through. And that's what I needed to happen. I needed immediate follow through and we didn't get that. So I stopped out on the second one break even. Dude, the market's going to piss itself today. Anyway, so yeah, bagged a nice little $10 on that. So that was good to start off the day. Uh, second trade, what do we take? Amazon, just saw how weak Shopify was. And I knew Amazon kind of needed to trade uh, with that. So I was looking at this flag break. This was as the market was dropping. So I was really confident. I took it on this candle, basically, and then writing it down. I knew Amazon, like, kind of shakes out a little bit after the flag breaks, and I knew that, so I held on even through this candle, but I wasn't feeling so comfortable, so I ended up uh, taking it off, especially because it was a giant contract. I mean, how much did I pay for that? 700 bucks for one? I mean, that was tough. And then, in my opinion, the best trade of the day, NVIDIA. Wow, man. Probably still going to go lower. I mean, you just follow the nine. 
just great. I can't wait till my account's bigger and I can really like trade how I want, which is buy two contracts. I scalp one off on the initial push and then I let the other one ride and then just use the nine as my guide. Because I mean, look at how perfect that would have been. Anyway, one day. So I uh, saw it for this flag. It was more of like a, just a, a flat bottom break rather than a flag. But really liked it nonetheless. But the one thing I was careful about is that the on the 5 minute uh, 200 was right here. And I really didn't like that because the 5 minute 200 is very strong as you can see. I mean it even adheres to it during after hours when there's not even any volume. It's like oh 5 minute 200 is there. Got to sell it back down. You know what I mean? So like it's a strong, it's a strong indicator. But um, I really like this move. Play that back if you guys want to see it. I noticed like a big size there. And uh, I didn't like that it was kind of at like an obscure level, like 315, 320. I mean, like who shorts contracts at, at those types of levels? So I didn't really like that. But once I saw that size go away and we got over the initial like 300 wall, I'm like, all right, now I'm confident. And look at the snap we got on that. So, I mean, you never know, right? I mean, it's it's hard to tell, but I mean, like you kind of get a feel for how to watch out for uh, open interest on those contracts and how they kind of tie into the price action but really good stuff but what a day fellas coming in not guns blazing but paypal could have been a little bit ballsy but i knew it to keep my risk in check so happy about that one amazon and nvidia really good trades just uh wanted to see the immediate follow through because we were getting the immediate follow through on the markets you know so i wanted i wanted that speed to kind of match the equity so again thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys learned something as well we are two subscribers away from 400 let's hit it guys please I, I thank you so much for even getting me to this number i mean like i've been doing this for only a few months now and to see 400 is crazy so again thank you guys so much if you enjoyed it drop a like drop me a comment let me know what you guys thought about the trades and i'll catch you fellas in the next one we moving up